We interrupt this program to bring you a special report from ABC News Chicago. Here is correspondent Greg Dobbs. More than 140 rush hour commuters have been injured in a collision here. Death counts have been put variously at 5, at 9, 13, 16. From these pictures, you may be able to sense the extent of this disaster and understand why accurate casualty figures just aren't yet available. It happened at the northeast corner of Chicago's Loop, and it happened at 5.30 here, the peak of the evening rush hour. One elevated train had just pulled away from a passenger platform. It rammed the rear of another train that had come to a halt in a curve just ahead. From the train in the back, four cars fell 20 feet from the tracks to the ground. Two of those cars lying flat on their sides, the other two dangling, as you see here, one end up on the tracks, the other end on the ground. For now, at least, officials blame a faulty signal. In just minutes, fire engines and ambulances reached this scene, and immediately, stretchers containing people, bloody and inert, dead and alive, were carried away. Every hospital in this area, nine hospitals altogether, received the people taken from these fallen cars. All doctors in the loop area were asked to report to those hospitals to offer their help. Rescuers got to the dead and injured with blowtorches, with ladders, through broken glass and disconnected doors. The most difficult part of the rescue, they say, was in the downhill portions of the two cars left dangling. Those portions reportedly packed with dead and injured bodies. Police do say that they have no reason to believe early reports that more people, pedestrians and motorists on the street, were actually in this busy intersection directly under the tracks when the rail cars fell. But it was a busy time, the height of the rush hour, and it did happen precisely at the point of a 90-degree turn in the tracks. So it couldn't have happened at a worse time or a worse place. This is Greg Dobbs, ABC News in Chicago. The special report came to you from ABC News. We return you to our regularly scheduled program.